Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 61 of the raid series. So, um, last episode, it was actually pretty nuts, and we got all those uh, thermals and that. So, we're going to actually hold on to those. I don't really want to go to, uh, into raids straight away with them. We've got a task coming up where we need to use M1As. Uh, sorry, M1As with thermals, which is called like Test Drive Part 1 or something like that. So, uh, I want to hold on to the thermals with that. Um, but we will jump into the hideout and upgrade the stuff here to make sure it's all sweet. Um, security is now done. Uh, obviously, it's been a little bit of time since I last played. I think a few days, so we can actually getting this. Now, we need vents level three. So, to get that, we need to level up our strength skill. We need to just keep focusing on throwing those grenades. Heating is now done. I think out of the rest of this, um, generator is going to be pretty much the big choke point, but we can't get generator until we get vents done. We can't get vents done until we've got strength done. So, it's kind of sucky with that. Can't even get intelligence done until nutrition's done, and nutrition can't be done. Taken. Oh, it can be done. Sweet. Let's get this done. Let's get the three copies. Three. And. Now, that, that required metabolism level three. Uh, you would have been seeing me eat a lot of food in raid. Uh, eating or drinking. Anything that raises your hydration levels or energy levels in raid will level up your metabolism. So you'll see me doing a lot of it in raid rather than in the actual so so that'll be done in 14 hours, so obviously what we've done in uh, this episode might be done in the next one. I don't know how many I'm going to film today. But uh, that nutrition getting up means we can actually crank the intelligence to the next level. It means we could actually start a Bitcoin farm, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure you just need intelligence stuff. Generator, solar, library, boot generator. Yeah. Just needs intelligence level two. So we could actually start a Bitcoin farm. Which actually means if I play like one raid a day, we could actually make a lot of money each day without even playing. So um, we'll just tidy up this real quick from the previous raid. Get up the money. I'm gonna try and get this a little bit tidier now, seeing that we're actually in on the. Uh, sorry, getting uh, a lot of this done now. Um, for this episode, I want to go into customs. Uh, in customs, we're going to do shock, suppress shotguns. We're going to use this bad boy. Doesn't have the right ammunition there yet, so we're going to take that out. The AP20 ammo. Because we're going to try and get suppressed kills whilst wearing a Yashonka and a scab vest. And uh, also get PMC Thurster setup quest and also get suppressed uh, shotgun kills, which is for. Uh, silent caliber. Uh, we're gonna kill scabs, fresh shotguns. So, um, we're gonna go. If we had Jaeger level four. We could buy the shotgun ammo, which we don't. Money spent the the main one here, but we will get there eventually. Uh, the trick that we can use here is um, and it, it doesn't really like an issue at all. Um, go ancient. Axe. Antique axe. Any of the ones that are um, under 52 and a half, I think it is. You just keep refreshing this with a 45. I, I swear there'll be people that sit in there all day just refreshing this, making money, but you can actually do it pretty quickly. Like, for that one. The F5 is to refresh the flea market. Just grab a couple. It's not going to hurt us, right? Go to Jaeger. We need to make that 300k there. Bam. We actually have the level. We just need to actually get another 800k spent. So we could actually get uh, max level Jaeger right now. So all we have to do is what's that? We need 800,000. So it's got 16 axes we need to buy. And we would barely run at a loss. So, I use this trick quite often. That, that one still be there. What was? Like, that difference there with that, um, those ones right there. But we just made, like, 1,000 on one and 6,000 on the other. So, we could really go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, we're not really going to make much of a loss. If anything, really. It's all for 52.
Am I hiding? Three more. Didn't even. Yeah. So see, our money didn't even change, but now we have max level. So go straight to Jaeger. We've got AP 20 ammo sitting right there. And that is I'm going for an next raid. Um that goes on there. Round in the chamber. Well, 12, 12 spare rounds. What we can do here to really make sure we're actually making some money as well. Focus on uh, looting some safes. We've got 204, 214, 105, 10, 14. They're all safe rooms. Um, the customs key. We can grab the the cabinet key if we want. Gas station manager's office key. That's got a safe in there too. Right, so after all that, we should be pretty pretty dandy. Sell this stuff off. We don't need that. Spare 110 key. It's a spare 215 key. Don't need them. We've got them. That. Both those can be sold. Put that down here for now. Sold, sold. Definitely want to hold that. Probably we don't actually have any AP20 ammo, but this in here now. The other thing we might get lucky on, which it's unlikely, but we might get lucky on, is getting Rashala or um, the Black Rock. Still need to get a Black Rock down in raid. Something I actually got the other day twice in the same day was I got two Black Rock rigs as a scav. Like I actually loaded in as a scav with the Black Rock rig. So if we could get that happening, that'd be sick. Now, um, it's actually better in my opinion to not go fully geared into this one. Um, I did this recently when I was doing my Zero to Kappa challenge and going in fully geared was just horrible. The amount of times I died was just not worth it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chuck this together like this. It's not the most amazing loadout, but it, it's good enough. Um, got meds there. Could take a CMS with us or a, a surgical kit. Um, customs is like that. Like that. And that should be everything we need. If I was going to take anything else, I'd probably just take like a, like a scab backpack or something like that. That would be much it. So yeah, that is all. That's everything. That's our loadout for this raid. Hopefully we can go get... Battery critical. Battery critical, God. Uh, 10 PMT kills with the uh, shotgun, 20 scavs. We'll go for um, setup, which, we're, actually, sorry, we need to have, we'll be wearing a scav vest and Yashanka. I forgot about that, like I'm checking it. Scav vest, Yashanka. So we'll grab that now. Uh, these things can honestly be like 4,000 rubles sometimes, and other times I'll be like a million. Ridiculous. We'll get them back in every time though. All right, and we're ready to go. Back into the raid. All right, so into the raid and um, we could go dorms here and because we've got the closest spawn to dorms and hold it, hold it down like a boss. Um, we'd still need to get three more PMC kills in dorms so we can work to our favor that way. We might run into the scab boss as well, um, which means we can get Rashala and go for his golden TT. Get the... Um, Get the black rock. We can look here for a flash drive or here. Oh, no flash drives. We're going to check room 110 because there's a flash drive spawn on the bed in 110 as well. And after that, I'll find some. What was that? Got him. Why is there three scabs right in this corner? Whack. 
Over here, we might as well search. I think they're selling for 60k at the moment. Oh, no, it's the pressure gauge. Maybe not. Holy shit. I've never found a Bitcoin in a scav pocket before. Ever. Ever. I have never, ever, ever found a Bitcoin in a scav pocket before. You legit can learn something every day. Pretty nuts, to be honest. If someone's over in obviously the dorms trying to either get grenade kills or just what they're doing over there. Throwing lots of nades. Could be scab boss, but I don't believe it's likely. Okay, this is room one ten. This is the one. That's a flash drive spawn on the bed. Spawn. The book. I don't know what AP20 ammo is sitting at right now. But the book's 50k. I want to bug me. Flash drive in the computer there. It's gone down. God. Holy shit, that fucking scared me. Oh my god, these cabs. I reckon there's someone above me too. No, maybe not. Right. Really, I got the two options of coming out of dorms going. Um, yeah, I do have two options. I wish I could make you jump out of windows of dorms. That would make dorms pretty cool for fights. Because we can't. Another book. Inside here, there's two jackets. Hmm. Look where I sit with this so far. They sound really geared in there. Saw him very briefly. He wasn't very good at aiming, at least. That worked to our favour. Fuck. I need to go back to two story. I got a feeling the scab boss is in there. A feeling. I'm gonna get some meds. There better be a bandage in here.
We're just gonna go hard now. Let me try and get a grenade through the window. No bandage. How is he fighting so many people? Oh, give us a bandage. Got to play in the dorms with the shotguns. So happy there. Like how does he not have a bandage on the one like <laughs> running around looking for a bandage? So. If I, if I had stuffed that up, you guys would have been like. Greedy, shouldn't have gone in there, but worked out well. Got lucky, caught him off guard, so. There nothing overly special. The car there. We might want to restart start this one. The car is there. You gotta wait for that damage to kick in, otherwise, um, probably could have looted a couple more saves. I made some good money, got a couple of kills, got a fair few scab kills actually. Because we're out of meds is the only reason I don't want to stick around. Got an AK that we can use. Just sucks it with this quest. Like you could I could wear that slick armor, for example, but it really wouldn't make much difference because head's fully exposed. No. Every time I go fully geared, this never works, so that's why I'm going that this kind of loadout. One PMT kill, like half a dozen scams. We'll get some more meds and we'll go back in. I think that worked out well. We made good like three, four hundred thousand as well. We got what three books. They're fifty K each. A Bitcoin that's 150k. So what's that? Three hundred thousand just there. We got another gun. That was like an easy five hundred K raid too. Rinnan. All we did was go into the dorms real quick. Now we just got to do it again, but this time kill more PMCs. Going to need M4. Shotgun can go. All those books could be sold. That could be sold. You won, but hold on to it anyway. There. Take it into the next. That for decontamination. That task. Um, there. AK to you. There. Much ready to go against. 
Ins Top. Go back into another raid. No, no time to mess about. We also need to make sure we claim all these insurances before we uh, finish up the episode too. So we're going to need to do a bit of tidying up at some point. Yeah. 180k with that. Dog tag plus the Bitcoin plus the rubles. Crazy how raid light can be so profitable. All right. Back into, we get, into customs we go. Right, so into the next raid we go. We're going to go straight, same strategy as the last time, if possible, go straight for uh, for the dorms. Unless we get like a really, like, whack custom spawn. Which is kind of like this. We could, we could really try something here. If we get on the roof up here, we might be able to catch some guy off on the, uh, on the off chance that he'll be over in that corner. I want to get my, um, Painkillers, so we get get legged up on the building or some shit. We're looking for the guys in the corner. The one that spawns over there, and also spawns over in this bit. jump we could go into big red I'd, i fucking hate going into big red under geared but oh my god that's fucking light teleporting like crazy oh, we got him It was all luck than fucking skill to shoot him though. What grenades are actually selling for a fair bit at the moment? Scav shooting over here. The range on the shotgun's actually pretty insane, so. Uh, player there. By, by the range on me, it's because I'm using slug ammo. I can actually hit stuff really far away. Seven. Let's push across here. I'm going to go for across here and then maybe kill some scavs on the other side and head towards dorms. I don't like the fact that there's been a little bit of fighting already. I've killed two players. The max planes for customs is 12. I'm one of them. It means maximum 11, 11 enemies. I've killed... I got him. Fuck yeah. As I was saying, I've killed three PMCs on one, so that makes four. 
maximum eight more players left in the raid. Now, obviously, there's player scabs on top. Vogue. It's such a brutal, brutal gun. Uh, sorry, a uh, grenade. Fuck that off. Take that. Loot. Just want to push into some cover. I'm going to check the scab real quick. Got a key card. Money. Stop. Drink the Thai Cola. Gonna have the apple juice. Gonna heal that arm. Gonna push in here. Put this guy real quick. Literally take the unknown key just to um just to sell. It's free money. Some of you guys would be asking why I didn't bring the sick case. Um, I probably could have used the sick case. Particularly with the fact that I'm hunting down players at the moment. But it is what it is. So it's not what Scav's dead by looks at. It looks like he's sitting, sitting up there on that edge. And we're going to keep pushing... Towards more players. Or well, we could even reset this raid, to be honest. Kind of good that we got those three early. As I was saying before about the players, there's a good chance that there won't be many players from custom side coming up behind me now, and I really need to focus more on place to look in the front, so. One of the strategies I actually do quite often when I'm playing very aggressive, fully geared, is say I got a spawn like the one down there, just over there. I would actually sprint past dorms or straight down the road, straight down this main road and push towards the other side of the map. And because most people won't be expecting someone coming from that side, you can actually catch so many people off guard just sprinting towards dorms or Stuff like that, so particularly when you've got like max level endurance or, or high level strength, that becomes really, really easy to do. And I don't want to detract from the skill of some of the players, but the passive skills can give a pretty solid advantage if you use them correctly. Like that, like I was talking about, like with that. It's, if you use your endurance to sprint to the other side of the map or, you know, to um, loot stuff and that. The only way I can justify that passive skills should be as strong as they are and, and have um, have the effects they are is it's because it's going to be, it, the game's like an MMO FPS with like, you know, passive skills and you're leveling up and all that kind of stuff. I actually do believe that they should be in the game and should have a fair bit of an effect. It's like saying... I've used this reference a fair bit. A game like World of Warcraft, like a level one in a World of Warcraft game. Well, that was a Skybox minion. The Blackrock. Level one in World of Warcraft. We need that Blackrock. Doesn't have much of a chance to kill. Fuck. Did I just fuck up. That was just a normal scan. And level one in World of Warcraft would really struggle to kill level sixty. Well, wouldn't really have to kill at level sixty at all. But you get the point. All right. Grab the Black Rock. And I think we extract. 
in all honesty. Like, we don't really need to worry too much about... We killed three... Devet Yushanka. P1. This is a shotgun. Oh, the grenade. Didn't I kill three this raid? Alright, we need to fight these guys. I need to get that black rock. So, let's do this in a smart way. Could take a little while. I don't know if this is a smart way to say no. I'm at that window. Can't do that. I'm gonna have to clear him out. First thing I want to do is check for the flash drive. So it's a free check, hopefully. It plays here. Yep. Pretty good chance to get a flash drive on this bed. Not great, but pretty good. I swear that should have hit him in the head through the door. He was right in front of me. Please have 20 rounds. Hopefully, the scavs will protect me from that player that was behind the, the uh, behind the dorms, or the players moved on.
Все, неплохой день, господа. So this is no longer the same objective. I killed two at the end. Oh, blood. Killed two at the end. Not the MRS. I would actually prefer this gun. <laughs> now we need to go find Rishala. Just checking to make sure he didn't just start in one of these doors and just stay in there and didn't come out. It is possible. Usually they open the doors pretty early. Um, the other thing I'm going to hope for, we don't know how that's going to go, but I'm going to hope for it. The car's there. Now we have 15,000 rules. We can actually extract through the car extract. We heard the noise in the bushes earlier, so let's pray to God that no one's camping it. Car is not there. Me being the greedy man I am. I'll pass up a good safe. I think Rashala will be on the bottom floor. 
Most likely. Unless someone killed him outside and ran off, which is possible. I didn't really hear much shooting here. You know what I mean? Like. Dead. They trade. I think they did. Someone killed Rashala and died trying to kill him. Yep. He can't just raid. I'll check the marked room while we're here, and then, um... Feel really confident no one should be up here, seeing that no one looted Rashala. Like... That ammo. I believe it's going to put us overweight even more. I'm not super keen on throwing all the nades, but at the same time, throwing all the throwing nades, but. Won't be good ammo. No. I want to get underweight if I can. Take it wide and it'll go smooth. Check for flash drives. Uh, Like I was saying, okay, so in World of Warcraft, <laughs> World of Warcraft, uh, when you first start playing, you obviously got a disadvantage against people that are higher level than you. And, and, and Tarkov kind of has the same thing. Like, there are people that will have better skills than you and have slightly higher advantages of, you know, being able to run faster, carry more weight, um, run further, shoot more accurately and all that. And it just, it just, uh, it just benefits people that have more time to play the game or put more time to learn how the game works. Um, which I'm going to be, I don't know, really frank about it. 
People that have more time to play a game shouldn't be penalized for it. All right, not every game in the world needs to be fr casual friendly, like super casual friendly. This game is, can still be casual friendly. You've got ca uh, scav runs. You can still kill people and all that. But at the same time, people that do have more time should be should be rewarded for it. You're not going to be like saying, oh, it's unfair that, you know, a basketballer has more time to play basketball. An avid gamer, a hardcore gamer, has more time to play game. The the cards were dealt. I'm not just talking about me. I'm talking like before. I, it's strange though. Like before I played computer, uh, computer games for a living, as a content creator, I actually think I played computer games more, particularly when I was single. However, because right now, like I put a lot of time into YouTube and to you know other stuff to maintain what I do as a living. Not all just about playing of games the only difference is i used to take long times off gaming so i used to you know play computer games like crazy like when i pushed for global and uh counter-strike i never got to global i got to uh, lem and i won i won i think it was like 11 games in a row as lem and or 10 games in a row as lem and never got to supreme but my cousin was supreme and i got pissed off about it and after that i like i was so turned off oh no that guy up the top i was so turned off gaming i, I didn't i didn't play computer games like I hated up that, like, a good few months. I was like, fuck, this is bullshit. No, oh, but Scab's up there. <laughs> Just died. Committed suicide, Sudoku to barbed wire. Sudoku? No, it's not Sudoku. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I'm really happy about that one. Really happy indeed. Um... Blackrock rig has been undefined, not gonna lie. And really annoying to try and find that one. That's one less thing we can have to worry about. We didn't loot the scav on the outside either. But was that two more PMC kills with shotguns, one grenade kill? Can't complain about that. It's a good win there. Um And we got the Black Rock. Good amount of XP. Well on the way to level 40. Need to make some boom. Sell some dish. Don't need any of those pistols. Any of that. That can go. That and that can go. The reason I'm keeping them is rip the ammo. Yeah. Um, let me out first, and that is drag me. Pretty sure this goes to like living high, it's not a crime part two or something. Uh, charisma brings success. Right, it's still 20,000 XP, 26,000 uh rubles. That all adds up. Got one grenade kill. Happy with that. Three PMCs, 11 scabs already in the, um, three PMCs there as well. So, winning with that part too. Now, um, another AK we can play around with if we want to there. Not going to get rid of a 5.7. In. Sell some of this stuff. What I want to do, I've been doing the last few episodes. I want to get um, another gunsmith task done. So where are we up to with that? 10 or 11? 10. All right, so it's the AK-105. Um, oh, down. Yeah. Yeah. You can just be 
Got it rid of. Got it rid of. Okay, there. Use that for parts if we want to. More money. Two, two key cards. We actually need three found in raid key cards. Not mistaken. After flash drives. So there's two right there. <laughs> we can hold on to them. I thought, I don't know if I already handed that in. Maybe I already handed that in. Let me check real quick. It's Jaeger. Complete a task. We have handed it in. Cool. This has gone over a few months now, so I can actually use them. We might even use them. Go to our lab raid at some point. Uh, money can go in there. A little bit more. I don't know how much you guys like that shit. Um, AVS rig, solid rig. Don't really need it right now, so... Head, head. There, put them in there. Junker we can chuck back on. And all we're missing now is... Yeah, that's... We also got to do the insurances too. Take that, we don't need the armor drink yet. All right. Decontamination. I think we've got a couple of days left on that. We've got four days left on that. All right. So we're going to keep working on that anyway. But these ones we need to definitely claim. Uh, oh, let's go with that for now. Get rid of the PT we'll hold on to. PS we'll get rid of. We didn't actually get that gun back. Good. That for now. Really want to hold on to them because really annoying task. Don't want to just throw them away. Should have done that later, unfortunately. Right, so what can we do to make some space here? Get rid of that. Finish the perfect mediator. Got, a, got another one to the level required, I'm guessing. All right, that should be. Pretty much enough room for what we need to make. Make this gun. So AK-105, it's pretty simple. Uh, flea market. AK-105. Buy one from Prapper. It's, I know it's a bit more expensive. And I probably could have just got, gone, gone like this. And compared it to this. I bet they're exactly the same. I could have sold I could have saved like 15k there, but I was being lazy. Alright, so Zenit PT-3. And AK-74 slash AK-100. Uh, we have a 60 round mag already. So mag pool, MOA, AKM, and guard. Could be any of these, I'm pretty sure. Mag, pull, lock, AFG. Primary arms compact. Link search method because it's faster. PWS, dog leg. I have to get rid of that first. PGP A suppressor and a Zenit RK3. 
everything we need. Plenty of room. All right. Let's put this here for now. I like this. Hold up a minute. Now, Gunsmith 11 is actually super easy. I'm kind of tempted to do it. AK 11, uh, AK, uh, sorry. Gunsmith 11 is um, the ASVAL. And then um, all you need from there, like five things. Fab defense. That. In the NSPU dash. Night scope. And peck. We'll get this one done and then uh, that will be the end. We won't go any further than there. Just because this one's a pretty straightforward one to do. B-3. I also want to show you a, um, an issue you can run into with this one. It's not as, it's not as annoying now. It seems to not happen uh, as much. But it still happens. Now, with this, right, you can actually fold it and unfold it. So see how it was, uh, it's at 53? It was actually folded. So it was at 88, right? And so you go to hand it in and you'll be like, it's not handing in. Like, why is it not handing in? But then you unfold it. I'm pressing my mouse wheel down to do that. Bam, hand it in. Now this gives the, um, the Kiva key out of great door, so... Um, to my understanding, it's the only way you can get it. Yeah. That is that done. So the only other thing I want to do right now is just make sure I get um, the insurance back from Prapper. Because it would be sucky if we didn't. Uh, we are set up to do another, another customs run. Maybe we'll do a customs run until we die, but I'm running out of space again. Shit. Oh, too many survivors in a row, guys. Too many survivors in a row. All right, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video of this episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do show my Twitch every day of the week. So go down the link below. Can me follow there. Can you talk with questions? Feel free to hit me up on the live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. Oh, won't you slay with me? Because you can destroy with me. There's so many scabs to kill so won't you slay with me